What is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Sneakerhead on a Budget, one of the hardest working sneakerheads on YouTube. Don't give me a like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. Cue the intro. Hey! Woo! What's up, girl? Hey! Hey! Say way! What up, dawg? What's up, dawg? I see ya. <laughs> Alright y'all, so boom, I have a video for you guys, so guess what just came in? Ah! So we about to see what this is. So some of you might not know, some of you do, Nike actually did an exclusive access for Nike by you, for you to create your own Nike Air Force Ones for the anniversary. And so you know your boy had to pick it up. I'm not really a big Air Force One fan, as you see I don't really have many in my collection, but um, I do like the shoe, it's definitely a classic shoe, and who wouldn't want to get a chance to customize your own Air Force One? I don't know if you guys remember from way back when, Nike had the Nike IDs, and it had out for a long time, you could customize your own basketball shoe, I think it was a Kobe at one time, a bunch of shoes, you could do your own thing with KDs, and they got rid of it. And it was a really dope feature, you could customize it, make your school colors, it was really cool. So when they gave me the opportunity to make my own, I had to. So when I got the exclusive access to make my own shoe, it was really dope, and I really had to do it. And they finally came in, and this happened a while ago, so we gonna open it up, and I'm gonna see what you guys the first time. Now I know when I created this, I can only see their like virtual image of what it looked like. So I don't really know what it looks like in person. So first thing we recognize the box is the box is gonna say Nike by you. It has the little emblem right there. The little blue emblem, sorry, the little the, I'm gonna worry about the whole and I'm figuring it. Oh my god, this is a this is a family show. How it's a family show. Um you got the Nike by you on top right there. Um the Nike swoosh. You even got all that in the on the bottom right there. This is really dope. And then you also have a little picture of what I've created was really dope and it says Nike by Michael. How cool how cool is that to get access to that? It says Nike by Michael. As you see, that's what the shoe I created. But I haven't actually seen it in person, so let's definitely crack this open. And oh, I'm excited. Woo! So as we open up the box right here, Nike and the swoosh are trademarked in your guarantee of quality one of one one of one y'all you can smell it too one of one and that's what the paper looks like and it has the have a nike day in the corner so as you can see it maybe you can see it. there you go in fact, as you can see that let's look at the shoe here we go grand opening Woo! look at that Look at that! Yo, this is my first time seeing this thing. Look at this bad boy! Yo! That's crazy! Look at that right there! That is crazy! Oh, this is fire. This is fire. This is definitely fine. So, look at the shoe. So I went with solid leather right here, and the red, and I also went with tumble leather right here and the sail. Um, I went with some teal on the back. I don't know why I was feeling teal that day. I was feeling real teal that day. Um, got the red right there, got those sail laces. Um, I kept this sail right here. Um, I threw a little silver in the back. And this, like, so you also see the Nike Air Force One Anniversary Edition, if you can see that right there. Yep, Anniversary Edition right there. And it's really, really dope. And this shoe means a lot to me because a few things. When I started collecting way back in, in 2000, um, I couldn't afford all the Air Jordans. I couldn't afford all that stuff. So I had to start with, you know, the basic stuff. And... This shoe right here reminds me of my beginnings. This is the shoes I had. Um, when I couldn't afford the much, I got a Converse Pro Leather. Um, it was like a Julius Irvin shoe. Uh, it was this color. That's one of the shoes I got. I had a Nike Blazer that I had for the longest time. And it was this color. And I had to sell that Nike Blazer 
because you know my wife and I were college students at the time, so we kind of needed the money, so I had to sell it. And so this color right here represents that Nike blazer that I absolutely loved, and I love the color of it. And that's where the the teal comes from, because that's where this color. And the rest of the shoe right here, um, it reminds me of the uh, original Nike shoes that I was like Nike Vandals that I had way back when when I first started collecting. They had this sale coloring with this red uh, <coughs> this red toe box. And to the life of me today, I can't find out what that shoe was called. I mean, like what the colorway was called and everything. And I've been looking everywhere. All I know, it was a Nike Vandal, but I don't know what happened to it, honestly. And just the the black and red, just my one of my favorite colors. I wish it was green. I, I probably would put green somewhere in this shoe. But uh, yeah, this shoe kind of pays homage to the first ever shoes that I ever had in my collection. And they weren't any fancy Air Jordan. They weren't any fancy Nike SB. Um, they weren't anything like that. It was a Nike Vandal and a Nike Blazer and a Converse <laughs> color that first and then. And then the age, the age is just like from my beginnings of uh, thrifting. Cause I know earlier um, when I had my collection, thrifting was the, was one of the main things. And this reminds me of some of the midsoles I used to, they used to cop. And at that time, I didn't know how to fix the aging. So I used to rock them with the age. And so this shoe kind of just pays homage to me beginning out my, my sneaker days. It kind of pays homage to that of, of where everything started. You know, the red and black, you know, with bread was my thing. Um, the blazer, I used to have a crazy collection of blazers before I let those go. Um, that, that teal represents that. Um, the Converse, I used to love Converse back in the day as well. And just everything together just kind of blended together. So this is kind of paying homage to um, the first uh, pairs of shoes I ever had in my collection. Now, I've been collecting since 2000. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. But this this pays homage to that from my beginning. So one of one. Uh, exactly. So that's the reason why this looks like this. Again, it, it, it makes sense to me. It might not make sense to you. But I love it. I'm actually happy to turn up. I got the little metallic swoosh on there. I don't know if y'all can see that, the metallic swoosh. And yeah, so this colorway is not going to be for everybody because it wasn't made for everybody. It was made for me. And I definitely, that's why it's Nike by you. And I definitely find this super dope. It's definitely a dope little summer shoe I got real going on here. Um, I'm excited that it finally came in. I didn't know how long it would take for these to come in, but I'm really excited for it to come in. Really interested to see what kind of outfits I can come up with this. I have no clue, but I, I will come over with it, but I'm definitely keep it, keep it short and simple. But yeah, man, these are really dope, man. I'm actually really excited how these came out. I'm really excited how these look. Mmm, I love it. That new shoe smell is just amazing. What's wrong with me? I'm smelling a shoe. I smell so good. Tell me, uh, in the comments, tell me your new shoe smell don't smell great. Tell me don't smell great. But I do appreciate you guys watching this video. It definitely was a unique experience customizing these and getting them sent to me. Uh, I definitely would love to have created more colorways and just totally different things. But I'm happy how this came out. It's definitely something different. Definitely something that I'm gonna put straight to toe. And I'm just excited to have these. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Definitely follow me on the social medias. Definitely leave this video a like and share. It definitely helps the channel out. We're trying to go to 1K and we're going for it, gang. And let's go ahead and do it, budget fam. Let's do it. Woo! I gotta stop sniffing you. Is that a problem? Do you have a problem? Stop it. Get some help. Nope. Nah, nah. I don't got a problem.